back guys we're out doing some walleye fishing we already got one in the one in the bin we're here with craig what's your phone number if people want to contact you uh it's 509-999-0717 perfect we're on the uh porcupine bay lake roosevelt spokane arm fishing for walleye we're uh fishing night crawlers worms and slow death hooks and slow death hooks so oh. <laughs> Like that, don't pull up on them, just kind of real nice, right oh, about don't, there. Don't do the... Yeah, don't do the salmon or oh. the sturgeon, just pull nice and consistent reel. I want to get the net for this one, <laughs> that would be good. Oh, look at that! Oh, yeah, second perfect. So, right now, looking for when you're looking for the walleye, we're looking for transition zones. We're looking for areas that um, kind of bench out in our flats right here. This area right here is a big flat, then it drops off. It all comes across into here, drops into another little ditch, and then levels out again. These walleye just seem to want to stay in the ditch or right on the edge of the flat. So we're kind of fishing the edge of it right now. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so what we're looking for on the bites here is it's going to look something like this. It's just going to be a, a nice little tap tap and then it's going to start pulling. It's going to be different than when it's just bouncing on bottom because it's going to be more of a light tap. Since we're bouncing bottom with the bait, what is the weight bottom, called? Bottom bouncer. We're using a bottom bouncer as the weight. So when it's bouncing, it's going to look different than the bite. And that's our hardest part so far is kind of discerning the difference between the two. He's been very good at explaining to us, but he's still out fishing us by, by quite a bit. But we're, we're getting there. Feels like a better one. Oh, shit. Need to net it. Suck, man. I know. I do it every day, so I get used to what the plate looks like, and that's half the ball. We got two on the line right now. Oh yeah, big one. Oh yeah. Very nice. Oh yeah, set him. Set him. There we go. It's gonna be uh, number 22 of the day. 22. Oh, fuck. Oh, good one. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? You can't win them all. What's the percentage? I think you have, what's the two out of 16, Mr. Engineering? Well, I'm, actually, I'm actually three now. Oh, okay. Um, but Mr. Engineering, what's three divided by 16? Uh, a little less than four. A little less than four, what does that even mean? A little less than 25%. <laughs> okay, I <had> point. <laughs> Oh, I'll bring it in, Mr. Rudel. Out of boy. All right, guys. So we've been uh, filleting. I'm just gonna show real quick how it's done. It's taught by uh, Captain Craig here. So we're gonna just go behind here, go down the backbone.
how to get the, the, uh, the skin off for us. Try to leave the skin hooked to it, and then it'll come right off. All right, guys, this is a full bag of walleye meat. Thanks to our boy Craig here. Appreciate it again. No if you guys need to go fishing anywhere in Washington, give this man a call. Say your number again. 509-999-0717. Perfect, he does pretty much everything in the Northwest. He does steelhead, salmon, burbot, sturgeon, sturgeon all catfish. of it. Catfish, I didn't even know we had catfish here, but he does it. Yep. So give him a call, we'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, we made it to the kitchen. We got the we got the walleye right here. We're about to cook it up. So we got some flour, we got some eggs, we got some seasoning as well as some lime juice we're gonna add in there. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some fish tacos. All right, so we're getting ready to fry the fish here. We got egg and we got flour and we got seasoning. So we're gonna dip it in the flour first, then back in the egg, then back in the flour. We might go back in the egg and back in the flour again, because we want that extra seasoning. So right here we got the Cajun with lime. We got garlic powder. We got red robin seasoning, thanks to Big Mike over here. Um, we're also gonna put some pepper in there and maybe some assorted salts. All right, so we got a good amount of flour in here. Now you want to be very precise with your seasoning. Throw it out in there. We also want to do that with the Cajun lime. Make sure you don't go over or under. Same thing with garlic. No, I go a little bit light on the garlic powder. Garlic powder can be a little bit overpowering. Um, I'll put a little bit of flour in there. Um, this guy really wants it. Asian seasoning. I'm gonna put a little bit in that. We already put a little bit of that in there already. Uh, we got honey because we're gonna get a little, a little sweet kick. We're gonna put a little bit of that in there. We've also got some lime juice. This come on, this is Caribbean tacos. That's gonna sizzle a little bit. We're also gonna put in the butter and the garlic. That butter's gonna melt, and we're gonna start whipping it up. All right, guys, we got the wally prepared. We're about to put the butter in. Uh, now, since we are using, since we did choose to use butter, uh, the stove is at a lot lower of a temperature, so it's gonna have to cook for a little bit longer. Um, but we're gonna let this butter space out. Slap that first piece of walleye on our pan. Tortillas in a sauce. Got a little, got to get a little moisture in there. All right, guys, we're ready to plate the first taco. So we're gonna nicely slice up, slice up our fish. I'm gonna put those on there. Generous couple slices. Oh, we got some big tortillas, so we're gonna put a lot on there, just like that. I'm gonna grab our peppers that I'm gonna be eating. Tyler is not gonna be eating these because he's not a big pepper fan. I'm gonna put a little bit of those on there. We also have some avocado. We're going to plate on there. 
couple slices in there. Cut by the, the generous Ethan Carr. Um, and touch it off. And put just a tad bit of lime juice. And I like my tacos a little bit of, a little bit of sweetness. So we're gonna put a couple drizzles of honey. We wrap that up. We're gonna put the side that we dipped in the sauce down so we don't get our fingers all messy. Pull that over, pull it over, just like that. You've got yourself a delicious taco. Little taste test. Mmm, that's delicious right there. Honestly, the best fish taco I've ever had. I think the secret is definitely the lime. If you're gonna make fish tacos, Put some lime in there. We're hoping to add some more food content at the end of our videos. Uh, Mr. Oodle will be our, our executive chef. This is this is without the taco. This is just straight walleye with some honey on it. Like and subscribe for more, man. We're going to be getting creative with these meals. More catching cooks on the way.